Good morning, children. Today we will be doing a poem in English literature. The name of the poem is Little by Little. It is, uh, we don't know who wrote the poem. Okay, it is anonymous. That means we don't know who the poet is, the writer of the poem. Okay, so <clears throat> this poem is about the story of a little acorn. An acorn is the seed, is the fruit of an oak tree. Now what is there inside a fruit? You find a seed inside a fruit. And when that seed falls into fertile soil, what happens? As you have learned in science, if that seed gets enough water, warmth and fertile soil, it soon starts to grow into a little plant. And the plant grows up into a big tree. Now this poem also teaches us that what we plant inside ourselves, things like good habits and bad habits, okay, they too grow up with us as we grow older. These habits grow bigger and bigger until it becomes too big to control. If it is a bad habit like stealing or laziness, not doing your work, okay, disobedience, then just now that when you are little, the seed is inside, but as you grow bigger, that seed grows into a plant and then a tree of bad habits. And if you plant a seed, the seed of truthfulness, obedience, um, being busy all the time, helpfulness, thoughtfulness inside you, that seed too grows up with you and becomes a big tree and people admire you when you become big for your good habits. Okay, now let us read the poem and let me explain to you a bit. Little by little. Anonymous. Little by little, an acorn said, as it slowly sank in its mossy bed. Mossy bed is the, in the forest, you know, the, the ground is covered with green, no, flowerless green plants, okay, it's covered. So that is the mossy bed. So the little acorn fell from the great big oak tree onto the mossy bed. And what happened? I am improving every day, hidden deep in the earth away. So it fell onto the mossy bed and slowly it went under it and it was hidden from the, from hidden deep in the earth, deep inside the soil. Now what happens to it? Let's find out. Little by little, each day it grew. Little by little, it sipped the dew. What is dew? Drops of water early in the morning. Downward it sent out a thread-like root. Up in the air sprang a tiny shoot. Day by day and year by year, little by little, the leaves appear. And the slender branches spread far and wide. Till the mighty oak is the forest's pride. So that little seed grew into a little plant and then the plant grew bigger and bigger until it became the mighty oak tree. Now children, when you, uh, you know now some of you have already planted the seed of laziness inside you. Some of you are playing with your mobiles all the time, with your phones all the time. When your parents ask you to do something, you say, oh, later on, you have planted the seed of laziness inside you. And some of you, 
when your parents ask you to study, you sit down to study. That means you have planted the seed of obedience in you. So what happens? Let us see. Today, you are lazy. Okay? That's a small seed inside you. You want to play only with your cell phone. And when you grow up, you think that habit will leave you? No. The habit grows with you and you start playing with your phone all the time. You can't do without it. And it becomes a problem later on in life. You will not be able to do anything without it. So, that little seed which you have planted, the seed of laziness, the seed of disobedience, becomes bigger every day. So, be careful what habits you plant inside yourself. Okay? If you are truthful now, you will always be truthful later on and people will admire you, look up to you and say and trust you. Okay? So children, we have to be very careful what habits we plant in ourselves today. So, please read the poem. It's on, poem. It's on page 35 and I will get back to you again tomorrow. Thank you.